And I've been harping on this guy since I saw him play in college, and then he had a dump of a year the next year. And then he came into the NFL, Mr. Irrelevant, air blahzy blahzy blah. Everybody knows the full story on Brock Purdy. I'm not here to sugarcoat um, anything for, for anybody here. People know how I felt. The games that I saw him playing, what was it, nine games total, eight wins, six wins in the regular season, two wins in the playoffs, getting his team to the NFC Championship. And I constantly ask myself, and I constantly – have just wondered, like, why are people so weird when it comes to not giving Brock Purdy his flowers? Oh, I got to see more out of him. What more do you need to see? The guy's a winner. I'm telling you, he reminds me of Brock, you know, not, not right. Brock Purdy. He reminds me of uh, Tom Brady all the time. At Two Evil, thanks for, for being a member for five months. My God, that's a long time. Um, but with Brock Purdy, he's on a 10 game regular season streak. Can we talk about this more too? 1,019 yards and five touchdowns and zero interceptions this year. You can say what you want about his supporting cast around him. You could say, oh, he has Christian McCaffrey. Oh, he has Brandon Ayuk. Oh, he has Debo Sammy. Oh, he has George Kittle. Oh, he has a great offensive line. Oh, he has Elijah Mitchell. <laughs> Whatever, man. The, the the thing is, is Brock Purdy is going to he, he's going to utilize the weapons that are around him and he and he spreads the ball out everywhere too, which is something that you can appreciate. How do you pay, man? Uh, if you don't write checks, how do you pay these guys? Straight cash, homie. <laughs> Straight cash, homie. <laughs> hey man, too evil. Appreciate the the five dollars, man. How long before Purdy proves himself uh to the league? He proved himself last year. I one thing that I've always evaluated is quarterbacks. And one thing I always hang my hat on, if you don't trust me with anything else that I say, trust me when it comes to these quarterbacks. I've already gone down the line this year. Let's just go through a couple of them. I told you that Jordan Love was not going to be that great. I told you that Desmond Ritter was not that guy. I told you that Trevor Lawrence was going to be mid. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I told you guys that Deshaun Watson was going to be better. Just give it time. I told you guys that Kenny Pickett wasn't going to be good. You know, it, I told you guys Sam Howell was going to be better than what people get him credit for, and he almost beat Phil the Philadelphia today off of a fluky call. And I was dead right on Brock Purdy as well. Again, I asked myself, how many quarterbacks that are on your team's that have gotten you to an AFC or NFC championship. He got hurt. And that's even more impressive. The dude has just had a reconstructive surgery on his arm or on his elbow. And he's coming in like he never left. The zip has not left the ball. And he didn't look that good in practice either. But when the lights are the brightest and the games really matter, who's the guy that constantly steps up to the plate? Brock Purdy. And I, I hate the argument of, oh my gosh, he doesn't have to, he's got all the weapons in the world. What is he supposed to do? Not use them? I, I can't stand that. We blame quarterbacks all the time or, or people that are on teams for not utilizing what's around them or coaches not coaching the, the great players on our team. You don't ever have to worry about that with Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy has been excellent by all accounts when it really matters. When the brights were the light, or when the, when the, when the lights were the brightest, and now he's on a ten-game regular season winning streak. How about that? Forty Nine has got a lot of a lot of stuff to be excited about, but Mister Irrelevant isn't so irrelevant anymore, right? How many quarterbacks can you say that have came off their rookie year? and barely got any first-team snaps and done what he's done. You got to respect it, man. 
You got to respect it. One game over 300 yards, 283 yards today, one touchdown. One touchdown on the ground. He's got two total touchdowns on the ground this year. You got to do what you got to do to win. And I, I just see so much of a veteran quarterback out of Brock Purdy. And I love his reasoning on why he wears 13 because he idolized Dan Marino. I mean, he ain't throwing 40 yards that Dan Marino threw. But damn, son, the efficiency and the way that he's able to, to win games, very Dan Marino-like. Let's just hope that in Dan Marino's footsteps, he actually wins a Super Bowl instead of going to one and losing and never getting one for himself to cement his legacy.